What's good, everybody? Yeah, your boy. Oh, Shay Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, you know, I really want to talk about, I, I want to talk about, I want to talk about association. Okay. Now, for example, the Dallas Cowboys, if you're a fan, they are associated with losing. Can I get a, oh my God, sound effect. Oh my God. Yeah, I know some of y'all don't like that, right? But it's just true. The Cowboys are associated with being losers. Now, my mama used to always tell me that you are who you hang around. If you hang around losers, therefore, shall you be a loser? And a lot of times, what I love about losers the most, they let you know that perpetually they lose all the time. Like the Dallas Cowboys. But interestingly enough, some people want to be around losers and believe that they can turn them into winners, you know, like, you know, that might work in like franchises outside of the Dallas Cowboys, um, where, you know, you get a new general manager and bring in new players and, you know, you might be able to win. But when you're dealing with people. It's just hard to pull off. For example, let's talk about Future. Now, you guys know how I feel about Future. Future is a bum, okay? Future is a bum. But somehow, every woman wants to deal with Future. Um, you know, Lori Harvey. Now, interestingly enough, she actually, you know, didn't get pregnant, right? Which was amazing, but... For her to do a future, it was just amazing for him to do that, right? But future has babies everywhere. Kids he's not taking care of, sandling it up. And, you know, women, they know that future is not going to be there for them when they meet him. They know he's just a, a short-term temporary fix. Okay? But see, the thing about it is that a lot of those ladies think that what they have in between their legs... Is something that Future never had. Like, you know, like, take music. Oh, I can change him. I can change him. I can change him with this coach. And after getting 10 other women pregnant, you know, number 11, who's the idiot, wants to go ahead and try her luck. Now, d despite risking, you know, whatever god knows sti he may have or who knows what's going on with him future gets this lady pregnant okay now she could be running a pregnancy scam because every brother has de dealt with that a, a sister who is out here lying talking about day music yeah i ain't had my period in like a month or so and i think i'm pregnant and i you know knowing she lying trying to get that abortion money so she can buy some new sandals now, this could be happening right now. <coughs> but the chick tells Future that she's pregnant. Now, we don't know who she is, the bumette, but she says she's pregnant. Now, Future talks about it. He sends her the screenshot. He sends her $20,000. You see right now, shout out to Gospel of the City. Right? They want to make sure that they get some credit for this shit. And he says this. Dave Music! Last thing you need to worry about is money. You showing you can't be trusted. Friday, no excuses. In other words, B, you going to go get that abortion on Friday. Now the girl gets mad and, and leaks this screenshot, this conversation between her and Future, all out to the people. Which is why, you know. Gossip of the city underscore goes follow them on Instagram. They so thirsty for attention. That's why it got out. 
But my thing is, why are you mad at him? Why are you mad at Future? Are you mad that he don't want to have baby by you? Oh, you, oh, so now you found out that you were just getting tossed up. Now you found out that you were just getting sandaled up. He was just hitting you from the back. That's all that it was. Play the booty clap again. That's all that it was. Now, see, you might have thought you were different because you look good, you're pretty. But see here's the situation. Future looks at you as somebody who don't bring nothing to the table. You just somebody to screw on. Right? Since you don't bring it to the table, you something to screw on. And if you end up pregnant, <laughs> he, he don't have no loyalty to you. Go get the abortion. You as my little side thought. You shouldn't have got pregnant, even though Future is stupid and don't wear no condoms. See, that's the situation. You should have not gotten pregnant. You are a mistake. So now you want to be upset. But the problem is this. Why are you mad, though? And one thing that I hate, as much as I hate Future, I don't, I don't like Future. What makes me even worse than mad, mad than that are the people who know that because they deal with him, and I'm going to tie it back to what I was saying, who you, you, you are who you hang around. You hang around Future. So now you want to be mad at him, but you open your legs to this guy. You got pregnant by this guy. And now you want to expose him. No, expose yourself. Because everybody knows how Future gets down. Everybody knows that. Okay? Everybody knows that. But because you are a bum and you're selling up, now you want to act like, you know, you know all these idiots out here were mad at him for, 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 for offering that thing. Listen, she knows she was dealing with. She knew what she was dealing with. Like you have this this this, 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 this little dumbass tweet right here. Let's read this one right here, okay? Dang music! Rappers are legitimately, legitimately losers. Future giving a woman 20K for an abortion. Little baby giving a girl 16K for her coochie or silence. All this black wealth being wasted because N words can't learn how to not think with their D's. Meanwhile, the black youth is starving out here. Shut up! Okay? Just shut up. Because what you're not talking about in this whole situation is these thoughts out here that are dealing with these damn dumbass rappers. We know that these rappers are dumb. But these thoughts are dealing with them. You don't want to talk about that, huh? Uh oh, now you quiet? Now you don't want to talk about it no more, huh? Oh, okay. So now you don't want to talk about it. It's always one-sided. What about the chicks that know that these guys ain't nothing at the same time? They're sounding up. Oh, now you're quiet. Well, guys, I got to get about it here. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of of the celebrity junk i really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe to the bell check out the first comment pinned to the top guys it's been real check out the black men that are perfect t-shirts i really appreciate you for all that you do and the buffoonery always remains at an all-time high i'm out <laughs>